every day of my life I'm faced with hundreds of decisions. Big or small, everything I do is related to a decision that needs to be made. What time to get up, what to wear, what to eat, answering emails or this. I remember when the only option to watch my favorite TV series was on channel 2 every Thursday at 2 p.m. Now it's a little bit different, but also the choice is overwhelming. And it's not only about TV series. Economic growth has opened up an array of choices that just a few decades ago were completely unthinkable. During communism, my parents didn't have much choice. They could buy bananas, for example, only on holidays. That's it. There were no avocados, no papayas and whatever else you can imagine. Nowadays, you can go on a completely random niche on Amazon and find hundreds of products for the thousands of different tastes out there. This is a phenomenal achievement, but it also brought a new set of problems. Every day after I make a decision, no matter if it's an important one or a really small one, my decision-making capabilities worsen. For example, just before the lockdown, I was researching into destinations for a long weekend in Europe and between the combinations of cities, hotels and places to visit, just within one hour of research, I was completely exhausted. I couldn't make any more decisions by the end of the day, which was completely crazy because this is something that's supposed to be relaxing and I'm doing it for pleasure and for entertainment, yet it had that negative effect on me by the end of the day. This phenomenon is known as decision fatigue. It basically means that the part of your brain responsible for choosing salad over cake gets tired as the day progresses. The more decisions and the bigger the decisions you need to make, the faster your decision-making muscles get tired. This means that come dinner time, you are much more likely to lean towards the easier choice. I don't know why, but I always use food metaphors. The scary part is that nobody is immune to decision fatigue. In the book Peak Performance, the authors give a few examples of scientific studies that include judges and doctors. Both of these professionals are highly skilled in the decision-making process, yet the study found out that judges tend to give parole to 65% of the cases in the morning and about 0% in the afternoon. Something similar was happening to the doctors. As the day was progressing, they were more likely to set the wrong diagnosis or prescribe the wrong treatment. While the most obvious is to book doctor's appointments in the mornings, these facts can help anyone make better decisions when it really counts. That's actually why Mark Zuckerberg almost always wears the same t-shirt and Warren Buffett lives 5 minutes away from his office. And he always orders one of only 3 types of breakfast from the nearby McDonald's for the past almost 60 years. These people make very important decisions every single day. And every extra decision about clothes, food, traffic or anything else can put them off their game and ultimately cost them millions if not billions. Obviously not all of us have to start wearing the same t-shirt or move next to the office, but there are a few things that you can do when you're facing a difficult choice. And everything starts with your environment and with knowing yourself a little bit better. For example, I know for a fact that I do my best creative work late at night. And I know that I'm great at repetitive and tedious tasks early in the morning. Anyone can optimize his or her decision-making capabilities with asking a few simple questions. For example, what am I good or bad at? What are the few most important things that I have to do today? 
when I do my best work, am I a night owl or am I an early bird? Does stress motivate me or it has the completely opposite effect? Such type of questions can help you also optimize your environment. Your quality of sleep, lack of breaks, stress at home or at the office, they can all contribute to you making good or bad decisions. For example, I know that I do my best work in complete silence. This means that I need to turn down the music, even switch off my phone, not scroll through social media and try to be as focused as possible on the task at hand. And that's exactly what I do when I'm faced with an important decision. First of all, no decision is so important that it cannot wait for a day or two. And during this period, I collect all the information with the pros and cons on both sides. I need this because I'm personally a very analytical person and I need to dive deep into everything. And that, of course, tires me a lot. That's why I need the extra couple of days. And when I sleep it over, I just let my subconscious mind and my intuition guide me to the best possible decision. And that's my personal approach. But I would actually love to hear you guys. How do you make important decisions? Let me know in the comments down below. That's everything for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!